Hi, my name is Nicole Motarian. I'm 26 years old and I live in Brighton, East Sussex. I have a diploma in professional musicianship, which I was awarded from Brighton Institute of Modern Music in 2018. Before I studied at BIM, I studied at KBIS Theatre School. Here I was awarded qualifications in dance, drama, singing and musical theatre. I am now a professional singer performing around the UK and Europe. I perform at functions, weddings, corporate events and in theatres. I have been doing this now for over eight years. On top of my singing career, I have five years experience in childcare, working at nurseries with children from the age of seven months to preschool. I am now currently teaching musical theatre online to children ages four to 14 at Mays Performing Arts. I thoroughly enjoy teaching at Mays Performing Arts and would love to further my career as a teacher and be part of your team. For my online lesson, I have chosen a vocal singing lesson. Now, before I start my lessons, I want my students to feel comfortable and happy in the environment they are in. So before we start, I will always ask for a fun fact that's happened to them that week or on the day, and I will say a fun fact that's happened to me too. Once I do this, I wanna know how they feel. Are they feeling happy? Are they feeling sad? Are they feeling really energetic? This is so I know how the lesson's gonna go, and maybe I need to revamp that lesson on the day depending on how they feel. Once we're happy and we're all comfortable with each other, we will then do a nice physical warm up. This will consist of stretches, coordination exercises, breathing, and then a little shake down at the end, get the blood flowing and get them in the right mindset for the lesson ahead. We would then do a nice vocal warm up. This will consist of lip trills, sirens, humming, using different vowel sounds going up and down the scales. And we would then also use our mouth, so chewing exercises. Everyone loves the chewing exercises because we all look silly, but we have to do it to warm the muscles in our mouths up and warm our vocals up. Once our vocals are warm, we will then do a fun vocal warm up. So let's say, for example, a tongue twister. So we have red lorry, yellow lorry, red lorry, yellow lorry, red lorry, yellow lorry, red lorry, yellow lorry, and it will keep going up and down the scales. And we can all have a lighthearted laugh with it because it can get a bit hard, a bit difficult, and I will change the tempos of each time we do it, get faster, go slower and this will change each week. I will do a nice fun exercise each week, but it will be different. Once we do this, I wanna tell them a fun fact about the voice. For example, your larynx. You can use your low, mid or high larynx. For example, if you put your two fingers on your larynx here, go from low to high, you will feel it moving. So you can either sing in your low, high or mid larynx. It, varies on each song and you can just train your voice to sing in what larynx you want to do so this is good for them to know and it's good it's a really good fact to teach once we do this i will show them how the diaphragm works how to sing properly from your diaphragm not using your shoulders or your neck because that will just ruin your vocals we'll do a few exercises on this get them used to the muscle how it feels and then we will go on to the chosen song that we've chosen the week before, let's say. We will sing through this song a few times together, get them used to the feel of the song, get them used to singing it. I will even sing it with them as well so they feel comfortable. Once we do this as an ensemble, I will ask maybe someone wants to sing it by themselves and they have questions about it, like they want to use their voice in a different time or they want to use vibrato. Here I can let them know how to use their voice in that way and this will all also be teaching the others that aren't singing even if they don't want to sing by themselves we can all learn that as an ensemble as well and once we do this i will never put a student under pressure because that's not how it works they need to feel comfortable and once we sing the song we can get creative with it and then the lesson will be finished so thank you so much for watching and i hope you enjoyed it thank you